In this video, I'm going to show you how to get top performance in newer engines and maximum protection in older engines using the Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filter. This video is brought to you by my friends at Fram and I want to thank them for sending me the oil filter to change the oil in my 2007 Nissan Titan and I'm going to show you the steps to take. The Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filter provides up to 20,000 miles protection when used with synthetic oils. Now you want to make sure that you do uh, look at your vehicle's owner manual and find out what the recommended time between oil changes are but if you want top performance and maximum protection you want to use the synthetic oil. However you can still use conventional oil with this filter. It's crazy to think how we're getting 20,000 miles out of an oil change these days. I remember when a car had 100,000 miles, it was wore out, it was old, and it took a lot of mechanical work to get it to that point. Today, a car at 100,000 miles is nothing, and it basically just takes some maintenance work to get it to that point. Well, the reason we're getting so many more, mile, more miles out of cars these days is, of course, new technology, and a big part of that is oil and oil filters. And oil filters like a car's liver. You know the, the liver cleans the blood? Well the oil filter cleans the oil to provide top performance and maximum protection. The Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filter, it filtrates 99 plus percent of the contaminants. And Fram, they've been in business since 1934 for, for the professionals and the DIYers. Now before changing your oil, you want to make sure that you follow all the safety precautions. Uh, if you need to raise it, make sure that you get the recommended places to raise it and use jack stands. Uh, this Nissan that I'm using, I can get under it without doing that. But if you do have to raise it, make sure you chalk the wheels raise it in the recommended areas, follow all the safety precautions because you want to stay safe and also use all the PPE uh, for yourself as well. And before you start, you're going to want to allow your engine to cool because that oil can be really hot. So allow that to cool some. And another thing you're going to need is a drain, something to drain your oil into. You do not want to throw oil away in a drain or in the trash or on the ground or anything like that. Take it to your auto parts store and they can dispose of that for you. Uh, now we're going to use a 13 millimeter to remove the drain plug and be sure that you do have the drain pan underneath that so that it'll drain into the drain pan. Okay now just allow it to drain for about five minutes and then we will replace the uh, drain plug. Okay, so you want to be sure and clean the drain plug area as well. Make sure none of the gasket is left on there. Make sure all the the oil and you know all that's clean. And then I'm you, I'm replacing the drain plug and make sure that you have the gasket on there so it makes a good seal. Uh, you don't necessarily have to uh, replace the drain plug every time, uh, but I wanted to uh, this time. They're not that expensive and you can just get that as, at the parts store as well. So I'm gonna put the drain plug on and tighten it up. Again, I'm using the 13 millimeter to tighten that. Now this shouldn't be too tight. Uh, it should hand tighten, but a lot of times they get tight after they're on there. So you may need, they make uh, some uh, oil filled fittings that fit on here and you can take those off. But what I have and what I like is this right here. Uh, this is just some pliers that are designed for oil filters. Make sure you have the oil pan to start catching that. Okay, I've sprayed some degreaser on this towel here and I'm just going to make sure all this is nice and clean. Okay, now you just want to go ahead and pull a little, little bit of oil on the filter. And then you want to get some of this oil. And then wipe this gasket with it. Okay, now we are ready to go back on with the oil filter. Another nice thing about this oil filter, it has this grip on it to where you can get it hand tight without it slipping on you. Especially with, you know, if you got oil on your hands, making things slip. This really helps out. Okay, now I'm going to clean that off. And I want to get it hand tight. Just as tight as I can get it with my hands. Okay. 
Now I am replacing the oil and you want to look at your owner's manual and get the recommended uh, type of oil that you need and uh, put the recommended amount in. And then once you poured the oil in and let it settle, you know, let it settle for a few minutes, you want to check the, the dipstick to make sure the level is correct. If it's, uh, you know, if the level's too low, you need to add a little more. And, uh, and you don't want to get it too high either. You want it in between these two holes that's in the dipstick. Now, not all dipstick have holes. It might be lines, but you want it somewhere in between those two indication marks. And now what I'm doing is you want to pull it out, or I, or I pulled it out, and you want to look underneath the vehicle for about five minutes, let it idle, idle for about five minutes, and make sure that there's no leaks. It's not leaking around the drain plug anywhere, or the oil filter anywhere. So there you have it. That is how you change the oil in the 2007 Nissan Titan. Now in the this Titan, it doesn't take a reset. I know a lot of vehicles, you have to reset the... Uh, the mileage and all that you know to let for the warning to let you know when, when it's time to change the oil again but this uh particular vehicle doesn't have one so that is how you change the oil all right let's go to the website and i'll show you how to find out what filter you need for your vehicle so to check out the type of filter you need it's very simple and quick just go to fram.com and then go to part search and then application we got a light truck uh, Let's see a 2007 the one I'm working on of course you'd put your make and model in here and um, Nissan Titan and it already selected the, <clears throat> the engine type because there's no other engines they're, they're all the 5.6 liters in this year model of, uh, of Nissan Titan hit search and then once on this page, you can see the different filters that are available for your make and model. Uh, we are using the Ultra Synthetic Filter, and it gives you the part number XG7317. And again, this is for 2007 Nissan Titan with a V8 5.6 liter. And over here, it tells you a little bit about each one of these filters. For example, this uh, Ultra Fram, you know, it's for new engines. If you're trying to maximize uh, protection or for older ones, you know, if, if uh, you're trying to maximize protection, you know, this is the filter that you want. It's ultra synthetic, provides top performance, and it's engineered to be paired with synthetic oil. Uh, it offers protection up to 20,000 miles. And if you put your year, make, and model into the website here, uh, you can get that part number, take to your local parts store or wherever you get your filters at, and uh, you'll be able to uh, give them that number, and you will know for sure that you've got the right oil filter. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.